Hello and welcome to Neil's Spanish Flybox. If you're a new viewer to the channel, uh, you're very welcome. And if you're a return viewer, it's great to see you back again. Today's tying uh, will be the Perdigon Oxido. Uh, Oxido is Spanish for rust. And it's a little bit of poetic license because the material that we're using today is a glitter and it's called Rusty. Now, I know there is a dry fly called an oxido, but this has got nothing to do with it. So we'll need today to tie this a pardo, medium pardo, coq de lion for the tail. Black thread. Uh, you could use another colour, but uh, I'll, you'll see later on at the end of the tying why I'm using black. And the oxido. This is the glitter oxido that I was referring to, and that's what we'll be using for the body. In the hook, I have, sorry, in the visor, I have a hook of uh, size 16, a light nymph hook, and a 2.8 copper bead, which I'm just going to set on the hook. The thread that I'm using is a 10 -0. Um You can use a, a thicker thread, but uh, the reason I'm using something so thin really is because I don't want it to bulk up the, uh, the fly too much. It is quite a small hook, a small tie. This is not a difficult purdy gun by any stretch of the imagination. Now, um, these flies are very, very good in 16, 18 and a 20, with the 18 and a 20 specifically useful as a, a nymph underneath a dry fly, as a duo nymph. Very, very good in the summer. I'll tell you a bit, about, a bit more about that in a moment. Okay, the tail is Coq de Lyon, medium pardo, as I said. Um, not too many fibres. Tie it in. Uh, not too long. That's fine. Shorten those up a little bit more. That's it. Trim off the excess. Now I'm going to tie in the oxyto glitter. Wind it up with touching turns. So I said it's very easy putting on to tie this, but boy can it be effective. Uh, I said earlier on about using uh, black thread and now you'll see why because I'm going to build up a, a collar which uh, will be a contrast and also the uh, illusion maybe of a wing case. It doesn't need to be very big or very wide, it's just to create as I say the illusion. Tie that off. Right, now I'm going to coat that with uh, UV. Um, the regular viewers will know that I use Loon Thin um, because it's obviously thin, but it's also very uh, easy to work with and it doesn't bulk up the fly too much. Uh, 
a bit of glitter sticking up there, but I don't think it will make that much difference. Try and trim it off in a minute. See if we can just trim that off. That's maybe a little bit smaller. Give it a zap. Right, and I'll give it another coat just to give it a bit of extra strength. As you can see, even with two coats of this clear thin varnish, it hasn't bulked up very much at all. It remains a nice slim pearly gun. There. And that's the fly finished. This uh, Perdigon, as I said, is um, a super fly to use as well as a uh, on a duo nymph. But you would probably use it from May onwards. And it's very much uh, a bright sunny day nymph through the summer. And uh, will catch a lot of trout, um, both brown trout and uh, the rainbow trout. But it is a favor a favorite of the of the brown trout. I hope you enjoyed that, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.